Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Hillary's mysterious back bulge at Memorial Day parade exposes shocking truth. For two months, Hillary Clinton has been hiding a health condition, bundled up like an Eskimo in long coats with expensive neck scarves. Yesterday, the failed presidential candidate donned a bulky coat with huge bulges protruding on her back and front in 80-degree heat in Chappaqua, New York, for the Memorial Day festivities with husband Bill Clinton. As she walked in the small parade, the shocking truth behind the mysterious back bulge came out. The mainstream media refuses to acknowledge Hillary Clinton's serious health problems. In fact, they accuse anyone who speculates about her numerous instances of falling, fainting, and now wearing some type of huge back brace of being conspiracy theorists. But, facts don't lie. Hillary Clinton started having health issues as far back as 2009. It was reported in The New York Times and elsewhere that she slipped and fell walking to a meeting in the White House, which resulted in Hillary having surgery on a broken right elbow. Then, in 2011, she fell boarding a plane while in Yemen, where she was attending a meeting as Barack Obama's Secretary of State. In 2012, she suffered a life-threatening blood clot in her head after she fell at home. ABC News reported, Hillary Clinton's latest health update. Cerebral venous thrombosis, is a rare and potentially life-threatening condition, according to medical experts. She suffered a concussion earlier this month after she hit her head when she fainted because of dehydration from a stomach virus, according to an aide. That condition caused Hillary to show up at the Benghazi hearings wearing those prism glasses, which help with double vision. The problem for Americans with Hillary's health has been the big cover-up which was confirmed in emails produced by WikiLeaks. The Washington Times reported, Back in October 2016, in, emails, Neera Tindon, Hillary Clinton's longtime political guru, warned campaign manager John Podesta not to raise the question of primary opponent Bernie Sanders' health because it would draw unwanted attention to the hidden truth about Hillary's health. Hard to think of anything more counterproductive than demanding Bernie's medical records, Mrs. Tindon emailed Mr. Podesta, according to an email obtained by WikiLeaks from Mr. Podesta's personal inbox. Hillary has suffered at least five fainting spells that the public is aware of, added the Washington Times. We all know about Clinton's big fainting spell at the 9-11 event in 2016, which Podesta attempted to cover up. Her nagging cough throughout the presidential campaign was also a factor that caused speculation about whether her campaign was telling us the truth, where Hillary's health was concerned. In 2017 and 2018, Hillary's falls continued. While in London in October 2017. It was reported by her people that she fell going downstairs and ended up with a cast on her leg. Then, in India in March 2018, she fell multiple times that we know of, first on stairs at Jahaj Maha Palace, where she slipped not once but twice even as aides held her by the arms. Later that day, Hillary Clinton slipped in the bath at Bawan Palace and was diagnosed with a hairline fracture of the wrist. Which brings us to this mysterious back brace that started showing up in pictures about three weeks ago but Hillary refuses to comment on. Hillary is 70 years old, and like most elderly white women, she is more prone to osteoporosis. Her bones are brittle, and when you add all that falling down recently, it's easy to conclude that the back brace she is wearing is very likely due to vertebral fractures, which are categorized into three types, a compression, wedge, or burst fracture. Now, why in the heck is she in the mainstream media covering it up? Rush Limbaugh said, three weeks ago, they, mainstream media, can see she can't get into a van without falling down. They're the ones with the video of her practically falling down the steps, wherever she was, in, India, Italy or the Greek Isles. He continued, she had these two behemoth bouncer type guys to make sure she didn't fall going down some stone steps. You know what's really starting to surface, though, that was kind of hidden beneath the surface? Apparently, Hillary really loves her adult beverages. I mean, really, really? really loves her adult beverages. Americans are sick of Hillary's pretense that she has no ailments. We are tired of being lied to, especially since she tried to cover up her serious health issues so she could become president. So, after she showed up at that Memorial Day parade dressed like she was expecting a blizzard, Twitter user Joey M responded to Hillary, sarcastically tweeting, Good for you, Hillary. You're getting better at the whole walking thing. Must be that back brace working out well for you. It wasn't long ago they were throwing you into a Scooby-Doo van like a sack of Vienna sausages. But, hey, good on you Hillary. Is Hillary keeping her vertebral fractures a secret because she thinks she is running for office again? Well, in the Clinton world, 
Anything is possible especially since she truly believes she was robbed of the presidency by Russian bots. It's time for all Hillary to just come clean. She's been falling and fainting for years, and along with the well-equipped Medi van she rides around in, there's no use in keeping up this ridiculous charade anymore. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.